One, two, three, four. That's where I wasn't going to put it, wasn't it? <laughs> Demolish. Hey folks, just kind of sitting here, starting the episode and staring at that vertical takeoff paper mache seagull there. <laughs> Let's get this going. Let him take off. There we go. All right. Oh, 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 we have a crash landing. He, he stalled. He's going down. He's going down. <laughs> and he's gone. Anyway, I wanted to start off this time checking out if poor Brian is still sitting right there. Hopes the new defenses will be enough. <laughs> well, I guess he's become kind of a Handy Shire's mascot or something. He's, he's, I don't know. Anyway, let's check in on our, our ballista crew here. There's three in a ballista crew, huh? Can I grab the building itself somehow? There, but four workers. Uh, slow rate of fire, high damage. One, two, three. There's number four. Just in time, too. Vikings. Zoom out here. One, two, three, four, five. With a tank in there. All right, so we've got uh, four attack groups and a tank. Let's see. Heading into there here here so three pretty good setup tower systems already launching arrows oh we've got a what is that right there a, a plague at the same time I saw the plague workers take off or plague doctors are right, you guys are heading this way we've got who's got fire he does there goes the well mm, don't you set my hospital on fire Alright, so don't... No, no, no. Leave the Plague Doctor alone. We need him right now. The well is for roasting marshmallows. Otherwise, I'm not seeing any people being hauled off yet. The uh, the Flamers did make it back out. Berserkers? Not what you want to call the ones with the torches. This guy worries me, though. Where is he going? You gonna stop and bang on a road? You're not. You're going for a high-value target the church of course all right take this guy out we've got at least two trebuchet or uh, uh, ballistas in range two come on take him out take him out take him out anybody else being hauled away no everyone else is leaving there goes the church darn and we took him down all right we done Yep, they're getting out of here as fast as they can. You got anybody with you? We did lose one. Boy, I want to click on him, see who he is. Otherwise, we're done. Okay, we got to clean up the church. Demolish all of these. Drop a new one in. I wonder if we should come up with some intentional targets to destroy at the edges of town. Think about that. What doesn't go? What, what? Both churches? Really? All right, gotta throw a gold at this. Give me a festival. Wish there was a hotkey for demolish. If I hit X, what happens? Not a thing. Hmm. Okay. Church. I'm gonna turn my speaker volume down to see if that helps with the sound of the video of that bang, bang, bang going on there. Town, church, aimed just like that. I had put you there. Let's think about this. If I were to rotate you and put you more in like, this orientation, what was that? Plague has swept. 25 peasants have taken ill. Uh, that still covers... That gives me coverage even on this house over here. But it doesn't let me put the Great Hall up against the castle. This side 
doesn't let me do it over there either. So I could move this guy over one and build it right there. Okay, I like that. Let's put him here. You're going there. Let's drop another town square in there, a road, just in case that matters. And interesting, this road is not giving me access three squares in. Why is that? I guess it does for farms. If I already hit food. Now it does. Okay, so this is all accessible. All right, so town and I guess it did that with the church because the church has to be built up against a road. So it only gave me one square on each side of the roads. Maybe that's a thing. But I need how much? 85 stone. So we're going to wait a little while for this one. So church has got to go in. And nothing else got destroyed that I wasn't paying attention to, right? I go back and edit these videos and see things that uh, I didn't see at all when I was playing the game. You know, fire burning off over there and I was focused right over here kind of thing. Um, I need labor. I hate to take it from here, though. Let's take it from everywhere else. Food is doing great. Oh... I was going to say, let's shut this industry down. No, let's don't do that. Let's shut these guys down. If I can find the hitbox. You're in here somewhere. There's too many people in that in that uh, same square. And so they're all being chosen instead of. So I need you. need you. And you. There we go. And you. All right. Close all that down. Should be plenty of workers already assigned. Two of five. Not plenty already assigned. They probably all ran over to finish this up. Hmm. I can't just turn that off. What else have I got at my disposal? I can turn you off. I can turn you off. Hello. And you are not employed. I can turn these two off too. There and there. That gets me fully constructed up. Yes. All right, let's turn all this back on again. They will slowly start filtering back into there. So what's important? Let's go with wood and a woodish stockpile. Come on, let go. There we go. And get one charcoal going and a charcoal stockpile. And let's get these guys going. And then everybody else. Charcoals. More wood. More stockpile. And mine. Did I miss anything? Don't think so. I should get this fully. No, nope, we're still lacking builders. So, we're at that point again to where... Actually, we're losing people. Is that what it is? The kingdom was unable to attract any new... And our peasants are truly miserable. Three have left. Okay. Let's throw money at it. <laughs> and there's poor... Oh, Chris Friels. What, you traded spots? Interesting. So, what is your role then? Let's click on this. It acts like it isn't. Let's go away and come back. There we go. Holds festivals. Workers one of one. Oh, hello. There's a worker here. Okay. So he is the activity director, right? Oh, oh, oh. What, you going to crash? Oh, man. That took some damage. You see it flashing right there. It did. So Chris is not imprisoned in the concrete. He appears to be the activity director for the... The... Yeah, Town Square, I think is what that was called. So that is okay. Um, damaged Granary. We need to think about a building we haven't done yet. You are the, what, industry? Mason. Repairs damaged structures. Let's do it. And we have uh, uh, stone for the church as well. But where does this go? There is no radius, there's no definite place where it has to go. Now this could be a pathway for a road shooting off in this direction, so let's put him right here. 
All right, let's get that church up to you. town, church. Now, last time he was turned right there. Do we want to do that again? Hmm. If I do it this way, it leaves a two by two right in there for something. It leaves two two by twos. One more market or something like that. Um. we do it this way, it allows a road to sneak in behind there, which doesn't really do me any good. Okay, we'll go back to this. And we'll come up with something else that fits in that space. Alright, so we've got a mason in now, or at least building. We've got the other church building. We've got another tower system going in. Right there. Help defend this end. As far as defense goes, we need to defend down here. 900 and some food. I think we can handle a few more houses. Where and how? I wonder, if I put a house here and a segment of road, would that qualify? Then a house here and a road. Hmm, I have to make the road go up and over. There's just no easy way to deal with this. What was that? Terrible plague, 38 peasants have taken ill. Well, oh, come on with the, enough with the plagues. And all these are going to die, because we've got a a plague doctor trap right over here. Come on, go this way this time. I wonder if I need to... Are you going to get stuck? Ah, uh, ah. Uh, one got stuck, but one made it through. If he satisfies them, nope, he is zeroing in on them, and they're in trouble. Well, that's really frustrating. What causes that? Let's demolish this and see if that helps. That did help. Okay. So, hold on, don't don't get out of the, don't, don't, come on, let them catch up to you. There we go. So, with that, let's put a quarry somewhere else. In fact, let's take this out as well. Demolish. All right. I need a quarry, and I need to stockpile some other place. And I can't tell what a white stone is from a brown stone now. So, we'll just have to wait. More, this was, right? I kind of think it was. So what are we doing? We are doing more defenses down here. And we're thinking about structures further out as ogre targets. But let's stone. I can't get access to any of these, can I? If I were to try to put a quarry into any of this, it wouldn't let me. That is completely surrounded. Wow. I'd go into here, though. I can farm down here. Yeah, we'll do that. You go there. And industry, stockpile. That's not a stockpile. There. You go there. And turn you around or something like that. All right, so that little group is going to be there. We've got zero idle. What's still building? You are still being worked on. What did I see? I thought I clicked on something. This expandable, buildable area allows... I click on a road. Okay. So, it doesn't get a sense of depth when the mouse pointer is moving across the screen unless you are above it. Otherwise, it shoots through and grabs what's through on the other side. Interesting. So, what's building? That is building. These two are building. And these two. And that is it. Okay. Zero people wanted to stay, but we are maxed out. How do we get more housing in? Town Square. I have this back area here. Church. Back area here. Just need a tavern. And I'm pretty sure we're covered. Maybe another market. Maybe this is the, the next suburb. There, there, and here. With more food over here? No, food's going to be over there. Hmm. But actually what I need to know is, how do I get just a couple more houses in? Just to get a few more helpers, a few more bodies, so that I don't have to defend yet another area. Okay. 
I guess I need to know if I'm allowed to build a house without a road access. Let's look at it this way. Road access plus eight. So I can build it and take a little hit on happiness. So if I were to, well, let's do it this way. Yeah, he's right there. Okay, there's a good test. If I built three houses right there, three cottages, let's see if they still get the happiness for the tavern. Where are you? Charcoal, well, town square, tavern plus 10. Let's see if only one square, just touching the house, is enough to give me the plus 10. And then we'll maybe stack something else over here to make up for the 8 that's missing. Yeah, something like that. So, you have got five builders going. You do not, and you do not. All right, so we have basically five builders available. When they're done, they're going to move over and do these. Then they're going to get to the houses. Unless I get the houses going first, just to get the labor. That's worth thinking about. So if I were to cottage, let's just go for it. There. Yeah. All right, you guys are going to go there. Well, a little iffy over here. Iffy enough to where I'm going to drop another well right there. Or not. If I put it here, I would cover that and get more bang for my buck and leave place for a tower right there. Any other possibilities? I think that's it. You're going right there. Otherwise, well protection, uh, town. Let's kind of look around here. Everything's looking good over there. Looking good over there. Starting to thin out over here, like for this tower. But we're not bad. Could go right there. Actually, if I could go over here, then I get the most distance rather than just getting to the edge, but actually sending his sphere back into the pile. So it needs to be over here somewhere, which I don't want to do until I figure out if I'm going to use that for farms first. Okay, so that's as far as we're going to go. Plenty of stone. Let's release these guys and get some construction going on. One, three, zero. Who else can I quickly release? Let's get... Uh, uh, we're using charcoal in three different places now. I'm going to stop sacrificing charcoal. Wood, we're pushing that one too. Okay. So food is still doing fine. Let's take out, if I can find it, there it is, take out some bakers. Okay, we'll do that. And now we should have one, four, zero. <laughs> Hasn't improved any. Okay, we'll do tools. Now do I guess somebody working on this one? Four, one. Well, that's just going to have to be good enough. I don't see another way around that, so open you guys back up again before I forget who I closed. And I get the sense there's one more somewhere. No? Nope, guess that was it. Okay. Now, not much more for me to do, so it's winter time. Let's just kind of roam through the... Uh, see, if I use this mouse, I can go sideways. There we are. I roam through the town here. Ah, I take it the orchard just... just I saw that fire over there and it almost jumped. Uh, orchard just... How do I turn right there? Where's the orchard? There he is over there hiding in the snow just harvested all those apples just came wandering off to probably ah you see that this one did take some damage and it's now being repaired um is it still being used while it's being repaired yeah this number is coming and going so he's being repaired by the new oh i wish the name was right in there he was something like a mason Town, industry, mason. Yeah, yeah. We need to have the name of the structure right there. 
That would really help. No workers though, so this is going to stay waiting to be repaired until the uh, until the workers come out of this house right here. Otherwise, anything else damaged? No, just the one building. Okay. Well, it was good timing then to get that uh, that mason up and going. Here's the the plague workers. <laughs> One, two, three, and four. So they in the same positions over here. They are. Boy, it's hard to ma manipulate this map because the the pivot point is way out over there. So I have to go over here to pivot around that thing, that uh, that church. Food, eight hundreds. Harvest is coming soon. Uh, Thirteen people wanted to stay, but only thirteen could find homes. Yeah, we need to do a little bit of work on the logic there. But it gets the point across. We have a well going in. This is all in. Great. Two houses. Well, one house and one is just finishing up. Two left. Okay, we're done. All right, so let's evaluate this. Tavern 10. We got the 10. So it only has a touch part of the house. That's good to know. We do not have the road access, though. We have neighbor access. Wait, or wants access to road, wants charcoal, which we do have. So there's our indicator of what we're missing. We need access to road. So I could put a road there and a road one, two, three, and get that back. I could put another something else, a tavern. Um, a second town square that would give a bonus to everything or I could not even worry about it because still our average ha uh, average happiness is is, uh, is doing great so it's probably not all that critical yeah I think I'm just going to ignore it. it gives me the ability to put something else in here don't know what but I'll figure it out in time so in that case we have some idle people food is still in the 900s an orchard would be a great idea right now. It's a little bonus to food. These trees are not necessary. But I'm not seeing a place where it's going to do us any good. If I take these trees out and put an orchard right there, the road dead ends. So I don't see an orchard happening over here. Um, we got lots of possibilities over here and over here. This would kind of justify putting in the extra defenses and, and towers and, and you know, working on this area. Also, I was kicking around. I was looking at this. This is an experiment I wanted to do, or I was, I was talking to Vapa about, but he uh, went off in a different direction and never got to it. If there was another farm right here, so that another mill is right here, so that this farm is actually in contact with two mills, would it stack? I want to know. So let's find out. Though maybe not just yet. We have stone. Let's get into the a tower system going. How and where? I'm thinking over here. Hmm. What is that noise? It's like a flag waving. I wonder if these actually have a noise. I don't hear it. I don't think so. Um... Let me zoom out a little bit here. I can't say which side would be the most advantageous. It's pretty even. I almost need something here and here. I mean, eventually they're going to land here and start walking across. And we're pretty vulnerable on this side. We're getting a pretty dense ring of protection around this side. But we could use some help over here. Need to be in here too. What is with that axe? Oh, okay, this guy is in here chopping away. Hmm. If I put one right in here, another setup just like this, I should be uh, able to defend the base of that and the base of this. That seems like a wise choice. 
question is, do I need this pathway right here for a road? I think I do. So I'm going to go right here with these two. So let's get that going. We've got 22 idle workers. Oh, great. So castle, stone. One, two, three, four. That's where I wasn't going to put it, wasn't it? <laughs> Demolish. Okay. I got you all, right? Yeah, Baron. Castle. Block. Five. And right in there. I'm going to do all... I'm going to go to five and six this time. I think so. And the idea of giving the ogre other targets. There's still that to think about. What costs the least to build? 5 and 15. Stone gate, whole bunch. Town. Roads, obviously, but we watched the ogre walk right over the road to go take out the church. So he's not all that excited about roads. He could be excited about hovels, but that's going to dilute our happiness. Church is overcrowded. We went over 200. Oh. So it is 100 population per church. That pretty much verifies that. We need a third church, which will probably go in with this third housing area next episode. But for now, what doesn't cost so much? I'm going to guess that the bridge is similar to the road in the sense of of uh, how attractive it is. They do like to attack wells. That they do. And that costs less than a, a, a castle wall block. Any other choices? Food. They did go after the orchard. And the orchard would be kind of nice to just have. Just for the food's sake. Hmm. Produces food, can't be flooded. Let's put you there. You there. A couple of targets out off into the distance. We're going to put farms there, but not now. Cannot put this here. I can put it there, though. All right, you're going to go there. There's three orchards. Can I get anything out in this area? Boy, I would love to put one in all that dark green. How about we divert the road here? Chop you, chop you, chop you. And you just for fun. And you go away, you go away. Let's see what happens when, uh, when spring pops here. Hmm. Three there, three there. All right, town, well, well's going to go there. You go away. Road is going to go off to the side. We're going to get two nice orchards right in there. And we'll take the road off sideways, which means this needs to go away too. Okay, so we're going to go off to the side there, and I can do that now. So food, orchard. Too far away from roads. Ah, okay. Now what happens if you pull roads away after you've built something? If I couldn't build these towers until there were roads, and I built the roads, built the towers, pull the roads back, would the tower cease to exist or cease to work? Bad noise. Boy, I never even heard him come. I gotta turn my speakers up a little bit. Didn't damage anything, which means we have employed this guy because our granary is oh that there's a, a strange noise out over the wilderness I was about to say uh, has been repaired but um, like some kind of a I don't know wild animal barking out here and I heard that thinking could there really be two dragons one right after the other that didn't seem right all right roads hmm 
Yeah, I need that one back in. So you're going to go there. You're going to turn over here. I can't zoom in. Just going to watch them chop that. Well, I guess I can do it this way. Okay. So, town, road. Alright, we'll see how this ends. If he's going to go back around into here or just what. Um, food. Orchard. There. There. Alright. So I can bring the road back and take off into this area. I can get the road into here and sneak around like that. Yep, that's going to work fine. Um... So that gives us ogre distractions that also feed us. What was the cost on that? I don't think I... Right there, yeah, just 15 wood. That was a good cost. We'll see if it works. You guys are just about in. Let's castle, ballista, and archer. Plenty of gold. Still good food, and it's going to improve with the orchards. Um... Though, this little guy is going to be overwhelmed over here. There is that. Hmm. You need these trees. I'm not going to touch those anymore. Uh, 33 peasants have taken ill. I don't want to get into here because this could be quarry. Though I may quarry from the other side. Hmm. Right there. Though the further away you go, I really need it to be right here. And a big one. I could take the road to there. I like that. Chop you down. You're going away now. Okay, zoom in. There we go. And one more. Demolish. Alright. We're going to chop you down. We're going to... Town and road to... Though I can't. Here, okay, we're going to road across, go to there, and put a, the large granary right there. Which means this goes away. Workers zero. Open. Workers zero. Are there workers in a granary? Wait a minute. Workers zero. So there's a slot for eventual workers, but they haven't uh, set that up yet, is my guess. Okay. Idle workers, none. We're busy building things. Fire. Fire. Big time fire. What's going on over here? I didn't miss an attack or something, did I? Why are you on fire? Whoa! Um, guys? We kind of have water over here. Oh, come on. Put it out. That zoom goes in so fast. Alright, the fire brigade. Good job. Without a home. Somebody's without a home. What did we lose? Ah, we lost one over here. Okay. Um, hmm. Idle workers we do not have. But what's being built anymore? Why do we have no idle workers? It was just this little area over here. Still no idle workers. What's being built? Let me think about that. What am I forgetting? Oh, we're chopping a couple of trees. And we filled the ballista towers. Interesting. I was going to say, let's take out both of these and put two manors right there. But if I do, who will build them? The quarry workers will, because we have lots of stone. Alright, let's do that. You guys go away. You go away. Town. Manor. That kind of looks like a front door. No, it doesn't. That does. Alright. There, there. So you guys are going to do that. And I need workers. So where am I? Over here. You guys are all uh, needing a home anyway, so why don't you go build yourself a home. And this one as well. 
All right, you guys go build a home. Um, same thing over here. Why don't you guys give them a hand? There we go. Do we have workers in both places? We're trying to click that. Five of five and five of five. Great. Turn you back on. Now the disadvantage of doing that, I mean, it gives you quick workers, but they don't necessarily go back to work in their old job. So you may very well be training up new people for the quarry that have no experience. So there is always that to be concerned about. 196 people and we've got us a thunderstorm. And why was that one suddenly happy? Three left the kingdom. We didn't finish building a house. Hmm. Unless there was a plague finishing up at the same time. There's our little kingdom. Our little handy shire. So, not a kingdom. A burgeoning town. And I hit the edge of the screen. I like to spin, but I can't do it indefinitely. Interesting. Alright, so where do we end this episode? It's probably getting about that time. Can I get these built? We still have five workers in here? We do. Once that happens, and we complete the year and get our bonus of happiness, 20. 55 peasants recently homeless. That's negative 50 peasants recently homeless. Wow. That's quite the hit. All right, now we're trending to 82 because we put, we uh, completed a house, right? We did not. Okay, we're only at negative 10 for recently homeless. Oh, it's it's uh, degrading over time. Okay. Anyway, what I was about to say was we have that going right there. Viking raid. I didn't get it stopped in time. I'm gonna pause here. Um, I wanted to get this done so that I wasn't left next time thinking, what was I doing here? So let's take you out, full of food. I wonder what's going to happen there. Really do. Thousand food. Food. Large. Um, front door right there. Sounds great. Road. You're going to turn the corner. You can't turn the corner. Why? Because you're still very fertile. Chop. Okay. So, town, you're going to turn this way, and eventually you'll fill in the blank. All right. So, that has been rebuilt, except for the one thing. Let's go play with Vikings, and we'll call this one done. Who do we have coming? They're coming in from the side I was worried about. Eventually, they were going to realize that this was the vulnerable side. We did get this in, so that is helpful. All right, yeah, they're going to womp on our industrial area here. Who do we have? Same setup. Four battalions and a tank. Yep. Or four squads in a tank? A better way of saying it? Probably is. Battalion feels like a much larger, like a, a large quantity of squads. All in a battalion. Uh, they are just wiping out the forest. Hmm. Tank is moving inland. Ooh. Alright, but we've got some distance in here. Some range from the towers. This tower's got access. That one, not really. We're never going to really get access to this, are we? Darn. Yep, this is all toast. Thankfully, once they flame one building, they quit. But yeah, all of these workers, gone. I'll bet you you can take my greenery, aren't you? All right, what's happening here? Now, guys, this is to defend this while this is trying to take him out, too. I would be surprised if we lose a tower. There we go. That's the whole point there. One set of towers defending the base of the other set of towers. Real important. We're kind of done. We're kind of done. But boy, have we hurt. All of those people walking are being hauled away. 220 down to 174. Ouch. All that skill going away. 
Hmm. All right, well, let's fix all this. What did we lose? I'm not sure. Let's wait for the snow to go away. We are waiting for our last one. There we go. Yeah, you're trying to take off. Plague is hit. Now, what's damaged or destroyed? I actually don't see anything. Just the plague. Happiness is in the tank. I think we kind of survived that, though we took a huge loss of skill and manpower, which we need to throw some gold at and get this up. 35 trauma for recent Viking attack, 15 unease for recent plague infections. Mm hmm. So we're on our way back to 54, which isn't going to get us any of our beds filled. So we'll be starting uh, next episode on more of a somber note. But we've got to shut this one down. So I think we'll call this one done. This is the Noble Rambler. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.